Do you remember when was the last time you threw away a piece of paper? When was the last time that you had dumped a water bottle into the rubbish bin? Every one of us disposes a lot of waste unconsciously every day, and causing tons of waste are being sent to the landfill sites. Hong Kong generates about eighteen thousand tons of municipal solid waste daily. The three existing landfills will be filled up in mid to late twenty tens. We will be facing a crisis of nowhere to dispose our waste if no immediate solutions are executed. One of the solutions for saturated landfill problem is to expedite the development of integrated waste treatment facilities and organic waste treatment facilities. IWTF is an advanced waste treatment facility that can turn waste into energy and reduce the waste volume by 90%, thereby extending the usable life of landfills in Hong Kong. OWTF can recycle source separated organic waste to useful products. Despite the fact that these facilities can extend the life of our landfill sites, people nearby the facilities are worried about the facilities will deteriorate their health conditions. The discontents from residents are the hindrance to the development of those advanced waste treatment facilities. More promotion and education on how those facilities run and how it benefits the society should be provided to the residents through talks and advertisement in order to clarify the misconception on the waste treatment facilities. Extending the landfills is also a timely solution to the existing saturated landfill problem. Since Hong Kong has limited land, it is not feasible to turn too much Hong Kong's land into landfills at the same time. However, Landfills is still a considerable solution to Hong Kong as landfill sites can actually be recovered for other land use after it is closed for a few ten years. Sustainability can still be attained by the rehabilitation of landfill sites. The closed landfills can be converted into facilities such as golf course, multi-purpose grass pitches, and ecological parks. Moreover, the greenhouse gases emitted from the closed landfills are carefully collected and can be used for generating energy. Alternative ways of waste treatment other than landfilling is incineration. By incineration, the size of waste can be significantly reduced by 90%. The heat generated by incineration can be converted into electricity. Yet, incineration has a number of outputs that are pollutants to the environment if the incineration plants have inadequate controls. Building incinerators need a high cost, thus it is expensive to solely use incineration for waste treatment. We should not solely rely on incineration to deal with all the wastes in Hong Kong. A mixed waste treatment method by both landfilling and incineration should be adopted. Lastly, reinforcing the implementation of three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle. Reduction as source can be executed through producer responsibility scheme. Waste producer will be charged based on the quantity of the waste they produce. On the other hand, reuse of waste can be promoted on both personal level and industrial level. For individuals, for instance, they can be educated to use both sides of paper and reuse plastic bags. For industry, they can choose to produce remanufactured products like taking the usable components from an old computer and remanufacturing a new computer. There should also be more promotion on the recycling of waste. More subsidies can be given to recycling companies to collect the waste to recycle. To conclude, the saturated landfills problem in Hong Kong should be solved by integrating the above solutions together. Waste reduction should always at the top of the list for waste management. However, we Hong Kongers are living a high quality of life that waste can hardly be reduced significantly in one night. Recycling and reuse of waste will be the second in our priority list. Education and promotion is needed to raise citizens' awareness in three R's. The development of advanced waste treatment facilities like IWTF and OWTF will be essential in dealing with waste produced. They compress waste or turn waste into useful components before dumping into landfill sites, thus extending the life of our landfills. The use of landfills for waste management should continue, but together with the use of incineration. Extending landfills would be the timely solution for solving the saturated landfill problem as it takes the shortest time to carry out. Hope the government can take respective corrective actions immediately to cope with the problem of saturated landfills in Hong Kong.